Hello people, it is me, Porky2007, and welcome back to another Pixar Cars review. So I went to Walmart and I found Case K, and I bought everything that I needed from that case. And the things were, uh, Doc Hudson, his regular version, uh, Cruisin', Lady McQueen, uh, Patty, Mallory Carhut, and Motto. Yeah, those are all the stuff that I got from Case K, the 12 count version to be specific. Anyway, without wasting more time, let's begin! So I'm gonna go into chronological order, basically from Cars 1 to Cars on the Road. So let's start off with Doc Hudson. So yeah, this is Doc Hudson, his normal variant, not his Hudson Hornet variant, which we'll um, compare later once we unbox this car. And um, this is on the brand new packaging without the white... Um, Rectangle, unlike the Cruiser Lane McQueen, which I really do like this because it makes it more red, and I and red is my favorite color. Well, obviously. So yeah, we get so at the back. It shows all the Cars One characters: Mater, Ramon, Sarge, Sally, Lane McQueen, the King, and Fillmore. So now let's um unbox this. So let's unbox some um, or or unopen stock. All right. Doc is now out of his packaging, so let's take a look. So yeah, let's compare it to the Hudson Hornet. So yeah, he's missing his Hudson Hornet decals and the dirt on his fenders. And he also doesn't have the dirt track tires. He just has normal tires. You can see the front, his ornament. You can see his tail lights. And um that's interesting. His Hudson Hornet logo is is printed on um, Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Well, this one isn't, so that's uh, kind of weird. See the Hudson Hornet logo right there. His eyes. His his white wall tires. So let's take a look at the base. So yeah, it's basically I believe the Fabulous Hudson Hornet base, where it's just this silver. At first, I thought this was metal, but. I just realized it's actually just plastic, but hey, it would be awesome if we were metal, so um, so that is it for Doc Hudson. I mean, there's really um, nothing special about him. He's he's kind of blank, honestly, unlike his Fabulous Hudson Hornet very which let's say he has a lot of decals, but it's nice to have a regular Hudson Hornet. So next up is Cruisin' Lady McQueen. So yeah, I got myself a second Cruisin' Lady McQueen because... My old one is now getting some chips. There's a chip right there, a chip right here, and I believe there was another chip somewhere around here. Yeah, there's a chip down there. So um, yeah, I got myself a brand new one that doesn't have chips. Well, it's it's new, obviously. <laughs> so let's take a look at the back. So yeah, as we can see, you can see Greg Candyman, which he's in case L, but the Walmart version of him doesn't doesn't include Greg Candyman. But thankfully though, Target is now getting um case L, which I'll go check my target stores and, and look for um, Greg Candyman and the other cars in the case. You see Fillmore, Lizzie, Sarge, Luigi and Guido, Krusty Rotor, and Mater. So, um, yeah, let's um, unbox or unopen Cruising Lane McQueen. So, let's just take him out. So, yeah, we got Cruising Lane McQueen. He's in this metallic dark red color, which I do like. You see his headlights. That um, that that semi oval, or just or just white part that has the lightning bolt, a gas cap, his white wall wheels, and at the back it actually includes the bumper stickers for Kingman, Barso, and San Bernardino. Unlike the China variant, which doesn't have those decals. Let's compare it to my old one, and um yeah, uh, that, this one has chips. So what are we thinking? What would I do with this old one? Well, uh, there's a Cruising Lane McQueen out there, which is gold, and it's very rare, so I decided to make a golden version of Cruising Lane McQueen by myself because the actual one is pretty rare. There's also a Disney 100 variant of Cruising Lane McQueen, and it's silver, and the little lightning bolt right there is red, or basically this entire part is red. And you can get it from Target, either between from a $20 purchase of a Pixar Cars item, or you can get it by itself for $10, which, to be honest, I might get it by itself, because, um, I mean, there's really nothing good, at least for me, in the Target app, so, um, 
Yeah, that is it for um, Cruising Lane McQueen. A very nice car. I really do like the dark red. Oh, yeah, I forgot to compare it to um, Cars, the Cars 1 mold because they are pretty similar, but but the only thing that's different is, well, this one's dark red, has less decals, has white wall wheels, and doesn't have a spoiler. Now let's move on to some of the cooler cars that I got because these are just because Doc Hudson and this one are just basic, but yeah, let's move on to the cooler cars that you guys are most likely watching this video for. And our first cool car would be Patty. So this is Patty, a brand new Thailand variant, I think. And let's just say though, I really like her shape with this very flat looking design. I like that and that is the exact reason why I got this because of that funny goofy shape. And I think she's also um, Mario Andretti's um, assistant, which I do not have Mario Andretti. I hope I get him. And we can see the other cars in the, at the back. Johnny Blamer and uh, Misty Motorcraft, which those two are from Case J, which I couldn't find. And um, that one's in Case L as well, which which is now being found at Target. So yeah, I'll probably, so yeah, it's probably most likely I'll get him and other than this one because she isn't in Case L. T. Krusty Rotor, Lizzie, Fillmore, and Dexter Hoover with the green flag. Hope I get that one. So yeah, now it's on open Patty. So yeah, we got Patty and she has this face expression where she's looking up. She has this face expression, her headlights, her grill. <laughs> I really like that shape. It's all flat. I really do like it. You can see her. You can see her. Um, her taillights, her license plate, her bumper, her wheels. Now let's check out the chassis. Is the Pixar made in Thailand? All the new cars are made in Thailand. I hope I get Mario Andretti soon because because if I get Mario Andretti and pair it up with Patty, let's just say though it would let's just say though it would look perfect because oh man because in uh, of course in Cars One you see Mario Andretti with some um, Patty so. Yeah, that is the exact reason why I want to get Mario Andretti, just so I can um, pair her up with um, Patty. There's also another Patty in the Cars universe, and she's another Hollow Razor, which um, she also comes in that five pack, that Thunder Hollow five packs, which I'll probably get. So yeah, that is it from um, Patty. She is a nice looking car. I really do like her flat shape. <laughs> I just like her model in general. So yeah, now let's move on to the Cars on the Road diecast. So let's start off with Mallory Car Hut. So yeah, this is Mallory Car, Car Hut. The first ever diecast that I have based off of the Lights Out episode. And let's just say though, it does look nice. I really do like that green color. I thought it was glow in the dark, but it isn't. It would have been cool if it was glow in the dark. So yeah, we can see, um, what's the gender of this character? I don't know. So yeah, we can see um, it's artwork. And um, let's take a look at the bag. So we got Road Rumbler, Road Rumbler Mater, which is in Case J, which I didn't find either between they didn't get it or um they or I just missed out on it. We see Mateo, which I have the West Philanthropist, which I couldn't find. Mateo, which or Motto, which will review um which will which will review which which we will review her after when we review this one. Griswold and uh, Quackatorgosaur, the adult version. So yeah, let's unlock or un or <laughs> unlock um with some unopened uh, Mallory Car Hut. Ooh, ooh, wait, uh, wait, does this have a matte finish? Oh, she has a oh, it has a matte finish. So we got Mallory Car Hut, and let's just say though, it is a nice looking diecast. Oh yes, I wish it was glow in the dark, which I don't think this isn't, but. It's not a nice side cast to have. We can see her basic or see its face expression, her or its headlights, <laughs> and its grill, and its wheels, and its door. It, it's mostly just green because, well, well, it's supposed to be a ghost car. Even even its chassis is green too. Made in Thailand. Um, its mirrors, its bumper, its license plates. She's kind of similar, or it's kind of similar to um, River Scott. You can see the fenders are the same, the back fenders are the same. Heck, even the door or the trunk is the same. Now let's compare it to another Cars on the Road character, which is um, Revo Cause. Hmm. 
And uh, let's get out um, Kirsten Marshall. Yeah, so that is it for um, Mallory Car Hut. A very nice looking car. I really do like its green color. And um, and um, yeah, she is the first die cast to um to um, be based off the lights hot episode, but not the first piece of merchandise because there was another one which was released as a color changer. Which I hope the color changer one gets released as a die cast because I want more of these um ghost cars because they look nice. So yeah, that is it for our Marley Gar Hut. And now we get on to our final cars on the road die cast. Which is... Motto! Probably the one you've been waiting for the most. So yeah, she has been a very wanted character, just like Ivy, because we never knew sh when she would be released. I mean, they released Mateo first, but... But, um, yeah. Motto has been a very unwanted character, because, well, I mean, she's made her sister, for one. So, um, yeah, let's just see my other packaging for a bit, so yeah, we can see her artwork. She has this, um very happy expression and we can see the back road number limiter Valerie Carha which which we just reviewed Mateo which I reviewed in that random Pixar cars diecast review Griswold the West Philanthropist and the Quaker Torque store so let me just unopen almost called her Mateo Mato get it because um or I don't know why I said get it her name is supposed to be a pun on tomato, which is the British way to say tomato. Like, you know, tomato without the ta. Tomato without the ta. Alright, so yeah, we got Mato. She is in a tow truck for some reason, unlike um, Mater, which Mater's clearly is a tow truck. And Mato isn't, which that's kind of weird. So yeah, we can see um, her grill, her, her, um, her headlights, taillights. We can see um, her mirrors. She has this very fancy design. You can see her rims, her bumper, her taillights, or her turning lights. I mean, I don't know why I call these the, the, the taillights. I meant to call those the turning lights, but uh, I made it bad. So, people make mistakes, okay? See so her back window. She has this flower um, headband, or I guess headband on top of her. And check out her base, made in Thailand, because all the new cars are made in Thailand. So now let's compare her to Ivy, which she's also a very highly requested character. They're both blue. Hmm. And now let's um, put her next to her um, husband, Mateo. Hmm, yeah. So that is it for a motto. A very nice looking car. I really do like her model. It looks very, um, is this a 50s model? I'm not so sure what kind of car motto is, but I really do like her design. So yeah, that is it for the die cast that I reviewed. Now let's move on to the conclusion. So that is it for this review of Case K and whatever I think of it. I'm just happy that I found Case K in Walmart because my Walmart sometimes um, doesn't restock or restock on time. But hey, I'm glad they got in Case K on time. And um, I'm really happy that Mato got released. I'm happy that um, the Ghost Cars are now being released as Zycast. I believe they're coming out with a tractor one, but I'm not so sure. And I'm glad Patty got released as well because that's a brand new Thailand variant. And I'm glad I have these two because this one is damaged and I'm just happy that I got a regular version of um, Doc. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Maxwell Discord server link in the description. And uh, how could I not do this review without a bolder joke? Bolder.